Hello friends, I'm Drew Matt, here to present you the second video in the Place Explain series, a series in which I will focus on micro and macro plays of mine or others, in order to explain the logic and thought process behind it. In this particular video, I am playing Vladimir in a high elo game, and as you can see from this clip and the next one, we don't really have the score advantage. But, with some good map movement and smart micro plays, we might just turn the game around. I promise you some interesting plays, so sit back and relax for the second episode of Plays Explained. Starting right off, I want to present you the state of the game right now. As you can see from the score, we are quite losing and most of the kills are distributed between Xaya and Graves. Therefore, I tell my team on chat that we cannot fight for Infernal and we should try to steal it instead. Infernal Drake on a team that has the advantage, we just further improve that advantage and help the team snowball. You should always try to do the impossible without suiciding and take it, especially when you are behind because it will exponentially increase the chance that you will lose the game. Stealing in this case is better than a team fight unless the enemy gets randomly caught. And as you can see, the enemy Xaya does get randomly caught and the enemy Syndra somehow disappears from the middle of the fight and we are allowed to fight for the Drake. I consider this uh, next sequence a huge misplay from the enemy team as they gave us a free Infernal Drake and you will see what I mean. As you can notice Gangplank ult is ready soon and for some reason Syndra either searched for listening in our jungle or recalled and didn't help her team to do Drake and this gives me enough room to actually fight Graves and Trash over the Dragon. I consider this a huge macro misplay. All she had to do was to help her team do Drake as she had her ult ready. Here is the exact turning point of the fight and I'm pretty sure you won't expect this. By this misplay they just gave us a free ticket to return to the game and a chance to win because we now we have an infernal drake that further improves our chances. Moving on to the next team fight, I want to present our team strengths and where we excel at and also their team and how the general team fighting goes. First, in their team we have their main tank Gragas and their off tank Trash. In our team our main tank, or off tank if you want to call it, it's practically me and sometimes Lee Sin when he engages with his kick. As you can notice compared to other tanks, Gragas is not that useful in this particular scenario. In order to protect his team, he has to push someone with his ultimate and instantly kill him. Now, as I am frontline, if he pushes me, if they do not coordinate their stunts perfectly, I will simply use my ultimate on all of them and that could cause problems. So the main issue at hand is that Gragas has to flash on someone else and also stay in line to protect his team, which becomes pretty difficult. Their team comp is completed by Syndra's burst, Graves and Xaya who also are main damage dealers. Our team comp is mainly structured in two parts, Gangplank, Vladimir and Karma deal huge AoE damage, while Lee Sin and Vayne clear up single targets. We don't really have a main tank because neither Lissin nor me can withstand that much damage from the enemy comp, so we have to split them up accordingly and kill them with both AoE and single target damage. We have to join in and out of the fight using our sustained spells, Karma Shield, Gangplank Heal, Vladimir Q, Lissin W, Vayne Lifesteal. So our team excels at longer fights while they're focused more on burst, Syndra ult, Graves ult, Xaya ult, Trash Q for lockdown. Preferably they should position in white spaces so they can evade AoE damage and, as you will notice, in the current teamfight, they misplay this particular thing by grouping in a small space. In this teamfight, the enemy team does the mistake of getting poked to half HP and also mispositioning into double ults from me and Gangplank. From this point it is an easy clear and we get the score to be equal. The game is not over yet. Let's explain a bit what happened there. We noticed Gragas going for Vayne. At this point, 
Gangplank and I have a free walk towards the enemy team for our AoE damage. Vayne also gets free positioned to the bottom side of the wall and has a clear attempt at free hitting the enemy team under the barrage of AoE ults. With his Q and ultimate, Lee Sin also secured two kills in this team fight. Moving on, I want to present you one of the most beautiful team fights I've ever had, even though I got kicked out of the game in the middle of it by OBS or Riot's client. It is one of the last important team fights for this game. After we secured an easy Baron because of an earlier team fight that we won, we are doing our final attempt at finishing this game, but things does not always go as planned. After many team fights in the jungle and close spaces, the enemy team finally decides to fight in the open and, as I mentioned before, with the lack of our frontline tanks, it quite works. However, their priority list shouldn't be Lee Sin, Vayne, then Gangplank or Vlad. It should be Gangplank, Vayne or Vlad or Vlad, Gangplank, Vayne, but the last one might take too much time. They should focus either on killing an AoE damage dealer and burn their cooldown on him or on Vayne. For a short combo, Gragas should have used the classic combo right here. Well, he got outplayed. And either push me away or pull Gangplank closer. He succeeded in killing Vayne, but left me and Gangplank fairly healthy, and thus we turned the fight around. Truth is, Syndra should have taken care of a target plus the AoE damage from the others, and Graves, Xayah and Gragas should have focused the other. This way, they could actually get an advantage, but Syndra failed her part by not bursting someone down. Next, I want to talk about the ace that happens in the course of 3 seconds. After my team got pretty much destroyed, I noticed an opening for my flash E combo, and I used the window to jump in the middle of the enemy team. Here, Gragas gets instantly killed by my E and Q, Karma finishes off Graves and Gangplank kills Trash. After that I use Proto Belt in and simply finish off the last two targets. All in all, I believe this was a pretty smart team fight by us and again, a lot of misplays done by the enemy team. I strongly believe they could easily win this game with less mistakes and way more micro and macro coordination overall. Their team fighting places and decisions early on led them to lose their advantage objectives and buffs and made us switch from the losing side to the winning side in the course of 30 minutes. A small summary for this video would be 1. Learn where your team contrives on the battlefield. 2. Don't grid out on buffs, wait for your teammates. 3. Don't risk your advantage ever, play safe and smart. And 4. Focus and kill the main damage dealer, be it AoE or single target. All these mistakes done by the enemy team led us to win in the long run, so pay close attention to them. I don't really have anything else to say, I think this is the first video in which I actually worked as hard as I could and the scripts were passed already 1000 and 200 and so on, so I'm pretty happy with it overall. I really hope I present the information in a good and understandable manner. I'm Drew Matt and I really hope this was useful to some of you at least, and a subscribe would mean the world to me. Thanks so much for watching and see you next time guys, goodbye.